In this video, I will be continuing the XP series and showing you how to gain experience points from orbs or battling enemies. Here is the showcase, I can walk over these orbs and gain points. If not picked up after a few seconds, they will disappear. Another way is just attacking these enemies, I made a simple hitbox and health system for them to gain experience points. Anyway, on to the tutorial, find the interface that was created for your player. Open it up and you can just add a new function which is under the add button. I called this function, add xp value. This function has one input called amount. It is the type float. The amount is the xp we gain. We can compile and go back to the main screen. In your content browser, find your player character. Open up the class. You should have some old xp code here, but in the interfaces category, there should be your new function. You can double click and it will appear in the graph. All you need to add here is the add xp function that we created before. Drag it to the execution pin and connect the amount to the input. This will allow us to use this event outside of the character actor, we can use it for quests or battling enemies as examples. Compile and save this asset. Now we can move to creating our first example, xp orbs. I am going to organize it a bit, adding a blueprints folder. Create a blueprint actor. Name it BP underscore XP orbs. These are actors that we can collect. When we open it, we want to add a static mesh such as a sphere. I will also be adding a sphere collision. Rather than changing the scale of the collision, I change this specific radius value. This is the collision for players to overlap with. I will also be scaling down the sphere mesh to a suitable size. It is useful to place these inside of the actual game and compare it with the rest of the world. Now, just go back to your class and we can work on the code. Add a float type variable, this is your XP value for the orbs. On begin play, do a set XP value. This will be a random float in range. Experiment with the values and move on. Next, we can add code for the collision. We want to click on the sphere collision component and in the details panel, find the button that says on begin overlap. This will bring up this node which handles the overlap. I want it so if the other actor is equal to the player character, which means only if the player collides with the XP orbs. Add a branch and connect the condition. On true, we can drag from the player character and call out interface event. The amount will just be the variable we created. I am now going to create a custom event that deals with destroying the actor and playing a sound. I make it a custom event so I can call this again in other parts of this blueprint actor. Create the custom event called destroy orbs. In here, I will add a play sound at location. Add a get actor location and change the audio to whatever you want. After either add some special death effect or just do a destroy actor. Let's call this event. After we add XP value, we can add the destroy orb event. An optional detail we can add is that the orbs disappear after a few seconds. This is simply a delay node of a few seconds. I use 10 seconds and then I call the destroy orb event. The code for the orb example is done, compile and save. Now go to your world, add a few orbs and test if it works. Going over these orbs should give XP. With that working, we can move on to our final example for this video. If you were to battle enemies, we should create the enemies, right click and create blueprint characters. Name it and then open it. In this character, set your mesh to a whatever model you have. Make sure that it is in right position and facing the blue arrow over here. For this tutorial, I will be doing a simple health and damage system. In the components section, add a box collision component. Scale it to the size of the player, this will be the attack area. Like the XP orb, you can scroll to the buttons and add a begin overlap. This is the same for the other actor equals equals the get player character. We will be adding a health variable which is a float variable. Get your float and subtract from it, this is the damage. You will need to set that to the health. This is a simple version. Add a branch, we need to check if the health is less than zero. 
To do that, get your health in less than or equals to node. The value stays as zero. Now on true, we can just get our player character and add XP value. We can also destroy the enemy actor. Now make the health default value to 1.0. Compile and save, that's all, go to your game and test it. You should be able to now collect all these orbs. After 10 seconds, the orbs get destroyed. You can also attack these enemies to get levels. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing and sharing. You can also join the Discord, the link is in the description. See you next time.